Synopsis Podcast Massacre contains spoilers and adult language. For more horror, visit us at our website at texaspodcastmassacre.com. to another episode of Texas Podcast Massacre, coming to you from Houston, Texas. I'm your host, Mitch, and with me, as always, is the Michael to my Lori, uh, Nate. Halloween ends tonight. Halloween ends tonight. I wish it had ended 20 goddamn years tonight? ago. Tonight? <laughs> Christ. Uh, can, we, can we... Hold hold, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second. You're saying the Halloween H2O is better than this? That's what I just heard. I don't want to, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't, I, my brain broke just for that statement. I don't know where to go with that. Welcome to another week of Texas Podcast Massacre. Each week, we take a look at a different horror movie and debate a horror related topic with our unsuspecting victim, who is usually not someone we would consider a horror fan. Uh, we're going to get into it. Uh, this week, uh, we are talking about Halloween ends. The uh the final is question mark movie uh for I've, Michael I've Myers. never I've never been a more suspecting victim <laughs> than in mm. this movie. No. I suspected it the whole way. Yeah, yeah it was, I mean it was the dude with the curly mustache the whole time. I mean so nailed it from the jump. Knew exactly what this movie is gonna be. That's right. There's yep. very you know, I don't know that there's really <laughs> any other franchises in Nate where we've literally done all of of them um i mean we haven't done all of the halloweens but we've certainly done um the I'm waiting new, for halloween the, curse of michael myers with paul rudd waiting for that but oh christ it'll, no. it'll happen it'll happen but we've done the, th- the the all three of the new ones so i mean you felt you dear listeners should go and, and check those out really relive our, well, our if you, journey it, if you don't count rob zombies halloweens which i, well, I didn't. do not which i do not uh, then we've done the last five Halloweens mm. or the last four Halloweens. Yeah. Sorry. Excuse me. Resurrection, Halloween, Halloween yeah. kills Halloween. Ends. Yeah. Um, look, I'm just, I, I mean, this movie, you know, it's already been mired in a whole bunch of uh, really bad reviews. So um, we're going <laughs> to, okay, we're wow. going to see, not we're going to see where, yeah, we're going to, we'll see where we land. I'm curious, Nate, you and I, have have made some comments to each other. I think I know where you probably sit on this movie, but um, we haven't really talked about it uh, up until recording, um, which is always good. Uh, so we'll see. Look, we've got a lot to get into, uh, not just the review, but we have, you know, obviously a spoiler free version of it. The spoiler full version where, uh, you know, we're just going to just lay into it because we've been through a lot. We've been through some very highs and some very low lows, right? Um, but we also have a bunch of voicemail and, and uh, messages. So I want to get into that. So, I mean, Nate. <laughs> so let's. Doing this? I mean, yeah, let's just. Hearken to me, you two-legged dogs. Drink the fish in need of knowledge. To learn what it is to live and die in honor. To be in battle slain and in death rewarded by the Valkyries embrace. That's not a bad voicemail drop, honestly. When we have voicemails, that's that's, that's not, actually great. That's yeah. not terrible. Look, yeah. we've got we've got a couple voicemails. We got a couple messages from on online as well. Um, so look, let's start off. Let's pick up right from where we left off last week. I asked. Uh, your mom a question about (laughs) how she feels about whether like how she feels about what movie she makes you watch um and and what about like if she's ever just like you know just for once like what if we just watched a marvel film like what if we just watched a normal like a normal mainstream movie instead of Uh, you know shark to push 
five or whatever the whatever octopus versus ice spiders. What do you yeah. Mean? So I haven't heard it, but I did see. I've been waiting for this. I saw she called. I I have not um not listened to it. I'm very excited for this. So uh here we go. Hey guys, this is Nate's mom, and I was listening to the Hellraiser episode on the podcast, and I heard Mitch ask me to call in uh, regarding the movies <laughs> Nate makes me, I mean, asks me to watch. Well, I have to say, when I used to go visit him years ago, usually in about May, we would go see a movie, and for probably three years in a row, it was a Marvel movie Ooh. that he chose to see, mm, not my choice. So, hold on, I gotta pause it there. What? <laughs> Uh, I, I chose it partially because I knew that she would enjoy those. I believe one of those, I believe one of those was Guardians of the Galaxy. Nate. So I knew, I knew she'd be all in on that one. Nate, I, I do not believe any word that came out of your mouth just there <laughs> that you, you somehow chose movies because you're like, my mother, I know what you've made your mom watch. So the hey, fact that we, you just picked we, three. We did go see, we did go see four straight years on Thanksgiving of Hunger Games. That's a true that's a true statement. Let's continue with this voicemail. <laughs> they are enjoyable to watch. So to hear him put down those movies now is kind of funny. Oh, I agree. <laughs> the horror movies, aka comedies, I have watched with him, such as Santa Jaws, Piranha Three D, Birdemic. That comedies. was a yeah. classic that I probably never laughed so much during a movie as with that one. Um, to name a few, were at his house. So fortunately, they weren't in a movie theater that you had to pay for and that you couldn't just take a break from every so often during the movie. And Mitch, you are correct. If I told people the movies I watched, no one would even know what I was, what I was, that I had watched or what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. um, however, I still do hold it against him that he made me watch The Lighthouse at his house. <laughs> Don't get me started on that movie because that can't be unseen. Oh, yeah. However, the last time I did see him, we watched Prey, and that was actually a pretty good movie. But You're welcome. All You're in welcome. all, Thank watching you. those movies makes for some unforgettable memories, and I couldn't ask for a better sign. You're welcome. Keep up the okay, good well, work on the podcast. Wow. That, Bye. Wow. It, it, it was, okay, it was, don't say that, you're that welcome that much. when she said <laughs> I didn't ask for a better son. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, I said you're you welcome did. before no. that. I no. said you're welcome before that for Prey, and then I was like, that was too far. Better, so I, I, could be, I could be a little better. Uh, well, yeah. See, look, look. That see this. This is this is the key, Mitch. This is the key. Look, it doesn't have to necessarily be good. It just has to be memorable. That's really <laughs> the key to showing someone a movie. Look That's at fair. that list. That list. She right off the top of the head. Prana 3D. When the lady gets chopped by the metal uh suspension cord that breaks uh, and for and eli ross head gets uh hit in the propeller yo, uh, a I la think. dead alive did, incredible I, stuff memorable even I'm though Prana 3d not the best move ha, did, did zombievers not make the list i'm i'm surprised i don't know if we've watched some that's, that's a good I'm, question I'm now, I'm, now my wife my wife and i watched zombievers and she did like it actually that's that was a that was a rare I one mean, also who is who have you put through worse in your mind, your mom or your wife in terms of movies. I should be very clear about that. In terms well, of just it's, <laughs> it's it's easier to do that with my mom because that she unconditional love. I, I understand she that. Only <laughs> visits for a little bit. So if you watch a, like a group of th like terrible movies, like back to back, you know, then I don't have to see that person like directly for weeks afterward so fair like it, that's probably well i don't yeah, yeah no, I, that's that's i should have really i should have i should have asked if your mom like i mean she knows she's coming to visit you and is she, does she just mentally prepare like i don't know what he's got for me like do you because she do you tell her what you're gonna make her watch or do you just no like, why, why would that's i incredible why would i ever do that look and then sometimes you get a prey see there's not you're welcome so you like this, this, this watching movies with me is like a box of chocolates. Okay. You never know what you're going to get. This sounds like you, you, you keep your mom like prison. <laughs> like it's bad most of the time, but one every now and then 
you know, I, I, I do one nice thing. This is very like, <laughs> it's very something else. Nate's there's, mom, been non, there's been non horror movies. You are, you are, let's, let's, let's you, be fair. You are let's a trooper. Um, and thank you for uh, outing your, outing your, is that well, what you were gonna say? outing your son's uh, hypocrisy about Marvel films. I fully, oh fully appreciate that. Uh, now we also got uh, we also got some messages on. Um, how are you going to beat that? First of all, how are you going to beat that? Well, you so can't. We we probably shouldn't have it started with your mom, uh, wow. but we're gonna we're gonna try. No, we we got some messages from uh, a good friend, listener of the show, uh, Luis Armando. Um, uh, we get Luis is I mean just a purveyor of price <laughs> of just Limp biscuit memes, uh, chocolate starfish. I mean, incredible. I, I'm just looking through just even the past and. You know what I say to that? Keep on sending, <laughs> baby. That's what I say. Um, because <laughs> <laughs> every so often, Mitchell just <laughs> Mitchell just messages me. God damn, God yeah. damn it! There's more Limp Biscuit. It keeps happening. I love it every time. Keep doing that. That's good. Uh, he did send <laughs> us a pic- picture of a Seth Green horror movie called The Attic Expedition. Yes. Is this a real yes. thing? Yes. I don't yes. like. I I'm I'm very disappointed. Uh, well, it shouldn't in, be. I mean, no one should go in the attic exploring. That's just that's just waiting to get murdered. But yeah, it, yeah, it's it is a film though. What's really funny is like there's one of the person on the cover is wearing like you know that halo where you like you, when you break your neck or whatever. And like my sister had to wear that for a while. And yeah. I can't take that seriously as a horror thing because I just remember her like wearing it, and then uh, she would get really upset if you like scratched a fork um, against like a plate or something. Yeah, Uh, because it was. She said she could feel it like all the way through her like neck and teeth and everything. Oh, and so I would do that because I'm an asshole, brother. And (laughs) and she couldn't turn at me. She would just she'd be swap like swatting at me from the side without being able to turn to look at me. (laughs) Oh, it was great. Look, I'm the baby. I'm the baby in my family. Okay, y'all have to remember this. I am the baby in my family. Um, I have been tormented. For most of my younger years, by my older brother and sister, so now um, I'm. This is all just me getting my my revenge. Um, that's what if I told you that the Attic Expeditions was uh, had a Raimi involvement in it? Would you be more interested then? Had, had a what? A Raimi. It was not Sam. Clearly, uh, who is it? <laughs> it's brother Ted. Who play? Who is a character literally called? Doctor Coffee, <laughs> so you know, so you know, it's gonna be good. Jesus Christ! No. That, it, on the li- first of all, on the list. So anything oh. anti attic, I am a hundred percent in on this. For the so. IMDb rating, this movie is better than uh, certain movies we've reviewed and will be reviewing. Um, oh, no, I no, no, no debate there. Just uh, so, Louise, thanks so much, and of course, uh, you know, Louise sent us some nice uh, messages as well. Just um, you know. Thinking about you. Thanks so much, man. Um, with that, I want to wait. wait what? Oh, whoa! Well, what's the next thing? Hold on. A, wait, what? Well, the next one's. Uh, let's go into a voicemail. Oh, there's another one. There's another voicemail. Um, let's. I mean, look, it's Halloween. I, I love that we're getting all these at Halloween right as we're in October. This is really good. Um, here we go. Let's let's. Hey guys, it's Gary from Dallas again. This is my favorite month. October is amazing. It's, it's and great. I just had to call you guys. Uh, you know, it's been a while. I've been chasing a white rabbit and QR codes all around. And As finally I ran into who I was looking for. And finally that gives me an opportunity to call you and say thank you for all the reviews you've been given lately, and especially the, the big reviews from the fest that you guys just checked out. It was awesome. Gave me some clues on what I want to go see in the near future. Um, and, you know, I actually, you know, thought we should also give a suggestion here. So I'm going to suggest a movie you both are probably going to hate. Uh, it's more of an action thriller, but I kind of consider it a little horror called Becky. It was 2020. It's got Joel McHale, Kevin James. I know it already sounds kind of ridiculous, but, hey, no, I enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of <laughs> neat, but, who, you know, what do I know? I like uh, Terrifier. So here I am, guys. Just want to say thank you for all that y'all do. Keep up the great work, and I will see you guys around the bend. Let him in. Oh, let him in. Nice. Hey, okay. Uh, th- okay. This look. Look. This is I, a lot of I will say out this. on the fiend. This well, is all on, fiend based, well, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. I, okay. I, I did okay. get. I, I got a number of messages from people listening who 
we're, who I like me. We're very thrilled that Bray Wyatt uh, is back. I, I got some other things to talk about there, but let's, let's talk about the, the first part of this. So, so first off, Becky, um, I'm aware, Becky. I am aware, aware of this movie. I actually have not seen it. Nate, have you watched it yet? Or No, but it's on the list now. This is how you get stuff on the list. There you go. Great reviews. I guess wrestling helps if, if you want Mitch to add it to the list. But look, Becky has got your favorite actress from Annabelle Creation and Ouija Origin of Evil, Lulu Wilson. You got the aforementioned Kevin James. And you got all, Joel McHale. All blown. There you go. What else, what else do you need? Well, and you know what? I mean, I look, this is this is what I love about when we get messages from from folks. Uh Gary over here sends us a follow-up email because he forgot to let us know. I mean, he he really re- picked out, tried to pick out like, a perfect movie for you and me. Because he goes, Mitch, there's gore and cool kills. Nate, children are in danger and the dog dies. Like I mean, I mean that why is. are you giving that away? I I, I want I want that to happen naturally, but I do appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate the thought yeah. that went into it. Like, oh, yeah. this is this is like a, a TPM special. Just everyone, everyone's <laughs> thrilled. Um, well, I mean, I, Mitch and I, Mitch and I, Ouija Origin of Evil was like, God, man, that was one of the first movies that we saw together. We're like, that was so much better than we thought. Like that we went and like horror movie we saw together in the theater. So there you go. We're con- we're continuing that streak from from pre podcast. Uh, yeah, that's all. It's on the list. That's that's, yeah. Becky, look at this movie. It is so big. Uh, Kevin James in that movie. Think about it this way. You have a movie where Kevin James. I guess Kevin James is the villain, but who cares about the plot of this movie? It, it was either it was either yeah. Kevin James, but it was originally Simon Pegg. So what is this movie? Oh, that where side it could have been either Simon Pegg or Kevin James. I, I don't know what this role is, but I'm very intrigued that these are the two top two possibilities that can yeah. play this and, one and, character. And Gary, if you're listening to, I mean, um, you said you like Terrifier. You should absolutely check out Terrifier. Oh, too. Terrifier too. Have you? Yeah. So Nate, have you been keeping up with the news around Terrifier too lately? I, of course I haven't. Why? Why would I be doing that? It is doing extremely well in theaters. People Ooh, are gang, actually going to see it. It was in the top ten box office for like two weeks in a row, and so they're they're just gonna keep putting it in films uh, or, or in theaters. I mean, right? I mean, it's it's doing ex extremely well it knocked out i think it knocked out a uh i mean it's knocked out like top the new top gun movie i think it's made like two and a half million at this point um it's <laughs> like if you if you search <laughs> terrifier 2 i just searched terrifier 2 in google because then i can see like the the show times for near me or there and it, it's in a couple theaters but <laughs> <laughs> but then there's uh, people also ask what movie is causing people to pass out. Terrifier two is making viewers vomit. Director says it's surreal. <laughs> that's if you needed an excuse to go see Terrifier two, that's it. What does there it say go. about us? Like you, I mean, we were, I, I, we, I was, I mean, people are over here saying they're puking and like fainting and all this stuff. And I there think were, there was a couple of things that you were pretty were, intense. You and, you I, mean, and I were like just drinking. I think I had a milkshake. Uh, during this movie, <laughs> like not, not not at all affected. Um, I mean, I, well, th- there were some there were some scenes that were ooh, like the, you know, it, it wasn't like there's nothing. Yeah, no, there's no, some, there's some, oh no, there's it's over shit. the top. I'm just saying, I'm saying yeah. it's more of an indictment on us than it is about this movie. Um, yeah, Terrified Two actually is again significantly better than the first one. I actually want to go see it again, so I may even try to go see it in theaters. Um. Are we going to well, review Terrifier 2? Is that what you're saying? You I, really kind, I really kind of want to. Um, you can? I, I, mean, don't, I, don't, I, don't. I, I don't really want to watch the first one ever again, but I am very, I really like the second one. Um, so there you go. If you're, yeah. So Gary, if you like the first one, uh, make plans. Go see it in theaters. You, you, I promise you will enjoy it. Um, all right. Now we got one more uh, message on Twitter um, from our good friend, Nick, over in Singapore. Um Again, this is and it just ties in with Gary about really it's more about uh the Bray Wyatt return. So I made Nate watch all the White Rabbit uh promos. Um I, was that all of them? I thought I maybe did I miss some? Well, he, he showed up in the in the <laughs> He's uh, that guy's back. That guy's back. I mean, did you watch did you watch the clip I sent you of the actual like him coming back in and everyone like loses? Correct, shit, right? correct. Um, he was dark and then he was he showed up. 
Yep, pulled the mask off. Has another like another uh, new mask from the same people that made the uh, Ethan Hawke's mask from Black Phone. <laughs> from, um, the, from the people that brought you Ethan Hawke. <laughs> here's here's a here's a rest scary wrestling dude. Yeah. yeah, the yeah, the mask part of that is awesome. I, I'm all in on that. That now, part is really cool. Now, then then they start wrestling. Ooh. <laughs> well, Bray Wyatt doesn't wrestle too too often. So it actually works. It's That's why he's good. Story work. That's yeah. why he's good. I yeah. like that. Now yeah. let me ask you this. Uh he asked the question of which wrestler would make a great horror movie character aside from the fiend oh, and Kane? Okay. okay. Um and 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 Nate, I mean Obviously, go back to the older school because I know you don't know too many of the new folk. But who 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 do you think? And I guess I guess the question is more just the the wrestler as their current persona, their actual like wrestling persona versus like who would just be a good actor. Because like I think there's a I think there's two different ways you can answer that, right? Um, there's the ones that would be just a good actor and you could put them into something and they'd be good versus their actual like character in the ring their persona in the ring so let's go with that one who do you think would be an interesting horror i'm gonna let you go i'm gonna let you go first uh while i think of something um (laughs) i was not prepared for that so (laughs) i don't know well so okay so i mean i really i really like the idea of finn balor um and, and and more of his older character when he still did like the demon finn balor is the stereotypical irish guy Yes, but here's okay. the thing. So he had he, his whole gimmick was when he was back in like NXT. He 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 was he was normal, and I mean he's very athletic. Uh, you know, very 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 good wrestler, very athletic. Um, but he had this sort of thing where you know, as part of his character, he would turn into he he would basically have the demon, and he would do this like full like full body face paint. He has this like ridiculous intro, um, and in in ring he was it, it, they played it off like he was stronger like he had power like not so much powers like supernatural but just that his like he changed the moves he would use so you know uh you know so he would fight a different way as the demon than he did as himself and so i really like the idea of what if he was this like dude that could basically like almost self possess himself, like actually draw on a demon to possess him to then go kill people or do whatever. I thought that was an interesting touch. If you went with more of a dark version of that character. Um, What about you? What do you, what do you, what do you think? Yeah, I'm going to go back a ways. Uh, (laughs) So, Th- think about it this way that we we've actually done a bunch of movies with wrestlers in them, right? Of course. Already. Yeah. Triple H was in Blade Trinity, uh, mm-hmm. all time, all time classic film. Uh, we had uh, Santa Slay mm-hmm. with Goldberg, which was yeah. incredibly good. I cannot believe I had not seen that before. That was that was a surprise. Yeah. Uh, we saw we saw your boy Chris Jericho. Uh, in Terrifier 2. If you need one more reason to go see Terrifier 2, Chris Jericho briefly, briefly in the film. And his whole character is just eating in a, in a hospital. Hello. So yeah. you got that going for you. Uh, we saw uh, Kane was in a bunch of movies, right? The See No Evil movies. But we, we haven't, we surprisingly haven't done those yet. There's been wrestlers there. My only wrestlers I know mostly are from the uh, 90s. So look, if you want to do either a horror film with an insane person or a stuck on, stuck on an island castaway movie with an inanimate object, either way, you go Al Snow. That's my pick. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Al Snow. That's Al Snow, all time classic wrestler who used to have a mannequin head with some words on it on its forehead. I'm trying to remember what that was. And he would like shake it around a lot. Yeah. It, it could be anything. It could be a buddy comedy with the head because the guy's so insane horror movie. It's two, it's a two for one, basically. Or gold dust. Which <laughs> Whichever way gold dust whichever, would be whichever way you want to go. Something else. Yeah. Dusty those are Road. My top, those are my top um, two. Yeah. Those are my top two. Gold dust has got a great outfit. So um yeah, well, you know, you know his his brother's is wrestling as well as uh, he was Stardust for a while. Now he's just the American nightmare, Cody, you know, Cody Rhodes. 
Um, okay. I like Stardust better than American Nightmare. That's like that's well, his well, it's because his dad was uh, you know, the American Dream, right? So he's the American Nightmare. <laughs> it makes a lot more sense, you know. I know you're laughing. There are people over here that are like screaming at you right now through the through their car speakers, just like you dumb idiot. That's what, you don't get it. Uh, but anyway, I don't. Um, I do not get it. Don't. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, Cody's good, man. Dude, he like wrestled with like a whole ripped like pectoral muscle man like like insane okay. I, i'll so i'll just send you the picture it, it was a, it was an incredible match but like he like totally injured himself and when he like took off his uh his uh you know he had this like the big you know the big like jacket or whatever the fuck he was wearing to the ring i mean yeah. his whole chest was just like purple like from his chest shoulder oh. all of that and he still wrestled and it, i mean do you have do you have a lot of respect for him Where is it? Damn it. <laughs> did your mic? Did your mic? I was like, I was like trying just, to find it. Just, mic just malfunctioned when, it, when, <laughs> just, that, when, that, when that sound was processed through the computer. Oh, God. So, go. I know. I, I, need the, I need the cricket sound effects for, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, all right. Oh. Well, anyway, look. We've, what's, we've, wait, what's, what's D-Lo doing nowadays? Is that guy, is that guy in movies? No, I don't know. Booker, what is? Yeah, Booker T could be. You get the Harlem Heat going. Um, That's cool. What about those dudes who are fake vampires? Uh, oh, is that a movie? Is that a movie? Well, so fake Edge, vampire Edge is still wrestling. Gangrel and Christian. All that. Christian was in there. Christian still wrestles. Am I remembering I, I think. this? Jesus Christ! Yeah, it's I Christian this. Edge and Gangrel. Yeah, and they you do the bloodbath where the lights are turned off. Yeah, and then that could be a movie. That it is. It's called Blade. It's the very first goddamn Blade oh, where they're in the this, club. This would be. This would be a movie that's. Part Blade, part Twilight. Let us are- know what rest. <laughs> Answer any of the questions that we've we've talked about here. Um, send us your voice. You what's, what's the wrestling movie between Blade and Twilight? Let us know. Uh, yeah, let don't let Nate in. Uh, but uh, certainly uh, email us at Texas Podcast Massacre at gmail.com. Another famous vampire movie. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, you can also message us at TX Pod Massacre on Twitter, Texas Podcast Massacre everywhere else. And of course, leave those voicemails. We love to hear from you. 346 246 3143. I just um, typed the word Becky on a list of movies. So there you go. You want to do the same thing? There. Do that. There you go. Um, with that said, we've got we've we've delayed it, Nate. Let's get into this week's movie of the week. Halloween ends. All right, just watching that trailer has made me angry. So Nate, why don't Come you and get me, motherfucker? Just just talk for a bit, Nate, because I need a second. What is <laughs> just talk for a bit? What? Yeah, God, that you must be shook. Uh, uh, what is what is the un- <laughs> just talk for a what bit. is Jesus? Unsuspecting victim is Halloween ends tonight because it ends. It also ends in the theaters. It ends on streaming too, so you can either peacock it up. Or go see it in the theaters. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a hard peacock recommend on this one. If you're gonna check it out. Um uh of course talking about the end of a trilogy, the end of David Gordon Green's Halloween trilogy. 
Halloween ends, which came out in uh, October 14th, 2022. We thought it might be the secret screening of Fantastic Fest because the original, the 2018 one was. But then they announced it'd be at Beyond Fest. So Mitch, do we have a beef with Beyond Fest? No. Is that a thing now? We have a beef with them? No, we we don't. Do you want I'd rather see Hellraiser. I'd rather see Hellraiser, so it worked out. Yeah. Uh <laughs> spoilers. Uh yeah, so this this, this just, just came out uh, this past week. Twenty to thirty million dollar budget. It's already over sixty mil the uh, first week. So it's gonna be probably the biggest horror movie of the year. Most likely. Yeah. What's bigger? Exactly. Oh, uh, no, no. Scream. I thought Scream did really good earlier this year. That was real early this year, though. Did it do 60 some million in the first week? Uh, that seems. That seems maybe, maybe a little bit much. Oh, Scream did 140 total. This is going to beat that. I don't, I don't think that's going to be. I don't know. Too Reviews are rough. But Halloween's anyway, coming up. We still got two more weeks. Juice. I, I mean, I Nope did fun. 123 million. Black Phone was 89. Scream was 80. Yeah, this is this is this is gonna beat all this. this is gonna beat all this. But we'll see. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah, but yeah, this is another. It is at number five already. So uh, of the year, yeah. so I'll give you that. Yeah. Yeah, it's this is a Miramax. You don't see Miramax ever, and I and I do love they still do the old credits, and like. Just, I love seeing Mustafa Akkad's name just generally in every movie of Halloween ever. Just love that. But this is a Universal Pictures joint, Blumhouse, Miramax. Um, it's the third one. Uh, you're, you know, what you're gonna get at this one. You got Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, it's the last. This is so Jamie Lee Curtis. I sorry, I need to disagree with in, you. I need to disagree. You think you know what you're getting with this one? No, I knew it pretty much. No, before. Nate, you no. did not know that they, what they were going to do with this one. I absolutely did. Nate. Yes, I did. I knew it um, basically from the beginning. Before you walked into this movie. Yeah. No, you before didn't, I walked in. I well, yeah, I, I after I saw the first 20 minutes of the movie, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know exactly how this is going to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. After you saw the first 20 minutes of an hour. <laughs> What? No, it was, the, it was the opening you part. Figured, after I saw the opening out. part. <laughs> well, no, after I saw the opening part of the film, which is the first ten minutes, just the opening, right? Okay. And then I saw that. Per- I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I know this. Yeah, I, all I do is see that person again. My, like, my yeah, point it. is, if you're walking into this cold, you're. It's not like before you oh, see yeah, a well, single frame. That's my point. It's not sure. Although okay. they, they I mean they introduce yeah. a lot of new no, characters. No, so there's I, no I real way to once, know. Once you no. once you see the beginning of this movie, you you can pretty much connect the dots. But um, exactly. where it's gonna go. But yes. before that, no. If well, hold you, on, hold on. I'm still I'm still talking about this movie, Mitch. We got we got to no. get through it here. It's a it's a so five on IMDb. So it's a thought. five. It's a five on IMDb right now. Okay, so seems hot. Just keep keep that keep that in mind. We got David Gordon Green again. Uh, look, he's involved with Hellraiser, the TV series that's announced. That's right. There's a Hellraiser TV series, Mitch, too. What do you think about that? We'll not watch it. There's a, He's involved with The Exorcist. Already boycotting. Movie. He's directing The Exorcist movie. Does that make you feel way worse about it? I mean, first of all, why do you do the exorcist again? That doesn't make any sense to me. That Second of all, no. this guy who did Halloween ends. Oh, that makes me, that makes me less excited. No, he's had three movies. Halloween, he's had yeah. three movies and we all know, go back and listen to the epic rant I had at the end of Halloween kills uh, episode. Well, Go back even farther to listen to how we liked the first Halloween. So maybe it'll be more of that one. It won't. Than this. <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. We got <laughs> we got Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis is doing a bunch of stuff since the last since the last time we saw her in Halloween Kills. She was in a movie of the year for me, probably everything, everywhere, all at once. Go watch that movie. Oh, that yeah, movie yeah. is incredible. Yeah, with her oh, sausage, uh, another, with her sausage finger, her hot dog fingers. Yeah, incredible stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's in a I would call it a horror movie just based on the title, Haunted Mansion from Disney. So not so much. Isn't that a ride? Haunted Mansion, yes. Yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis, Winona Ryder, Rosario Dawson, Danny DeVito, Owen Wilson, Lakeith Stanfield, Dan Levy, Tiffany Haddish, 
Hassan Minaj and the best actor of all time, Jared Leto. What do you think about that? You yeah. had me into that last one. <laughs> had that's me, a lot, had me that's all a lot in of people in this movie. That's a lot of people. Anyway, so yeah, that's a, that's a movie uh, that she's going to be in. But she's also in, she's also Tannis, the scientist from the Borderlands universe. She's in Eli Roth's Borderlands. Mitch, how excited are you for that one? Uh, <laughs> oh the, boy i've got i clearly i've just got nothing left to look forward to in life um none of these are sounding great to me go ahead kevin hart jack black kate blanchett hilarious comedian bobby lee somehow is in there <laughs> and eli roth directing anyway so look out for all those great uh, Jamie Lee Curtis movies coming up. We got her granddaughter in this one, Andy Matichak, uh, who's Allison. Uh, yeah, she was in one movie in between this and Halloween Kills called Foxhole. That was something. So there you go. Uh, do we? Does it matter about anyone else in this movie? I guess Rohan Campbell in this one plays Corey. Uh, you might remember him from 2020 classic film Operation Christmas Drop. <laughs> One of the many Netflix holiday movies. Mitch, are you excited about that one? You already know the answer, <laughs> Nate. I, you, you know, you, you, every I'm week. I'm just setting you up to week, not say it. Every week you, you, up you, so do this, you do this every you do time. This. You <laughs> I the people already know the answer before Look, I mixed it up. I mixed I didn't say your all-time favorite movie. I appreciate that. Thank <laughs> you. Christmas Thank you for drop. I mixed it up a little bit. That's all. That's There's all. someone out here probably thinks these are really my favorite movies. And I, they yeah. are. You should someone should make a comprehensive list of every time I said that. And you have Mitch's favorite movies of his whole life. You're welcome. Uh this movie has some good parts of it, Mitch. I will say that. Did you hear a blue oyster called Don't Fear the Reaper? That's something good about this movie. Uh, did you see the title? The title, how they did the titles, like the old school way? That's good. There you go. See, there's two good things about the movie, bare minimum. <laughs> okay. That's that's a <laughs> the stance. So, to have. Oh, and I was a teenage werewolf, was uh the DJ uh played that from the cramps. That was that was also good. So there was like a couple of good songs in the movie. You're welcome. Oh, and there was a Halloween by Dead Kennedys. I forgot about that one too. That was great when they're at the uh, when they're dancing at the bar. Classic. So there was some good music in this one. So I, I'm just gonna put some positives out there before you start talking. All right, Mitch. Yeah, it feels like you're wound up. All right, now just go for it. <laughs> well, you can't see my hand, but I'm just like throwing it to you. I'm like what? Throwing- so, I mean, we're in the not spoiler part, and so I have to, I'm, I, I have to keep a lid. Oh, we're we gonna get two rants. We're we gonna get a, two separate rants. You're, you're gonna get, you're gonna get. This is like the, this is the, the dad in me coming out and saying, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Um, this movie is just not. Good. It, it's, it's just not. Um, it, so you were mad at you were mad at Halloween Kills, but by Halloween ends. You, you know what? He, he, very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. Nate, should people go see this in theaters? I say no. I say no. no. Stream this shit. Peacock it up. Peacock and, it up. And use a get a free trial. You use someone else's. Don't pay for Peacock if you are, don't already have it. If you're That's getting Peacock because you're like a WWE fan, you're already set. Don't go to your way to get Peacock to get this. Point. Yeah, I yeah I paid for a whole year of Peacock on a deal, and I was like, what's this wrestling stuff? Well, there you go. It, sn- it snuck up on me. Wrestling like, right. doing better. It's it's just bad. Um, I, what what can I say? I mean, without getting too riled up and giving and giving shit away for folks who don't want to get spoiled, the movie. I get what they're trying to do with it, but mm-hmm. no one. This is neither the time nor the place for any of that. Um. <laughs> No, because no one wants it. You've built this. You've marketed this movie as this final, ma- you know, match between, um, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis and Michael Myers, right? Uh, of Laurie Strode and Michael Myers, and yeah, you get it, but 
there's a whole other I I, I don't know I I at what well, point am I spoiling a, it? At what point am I spoiling yeah. this or am I warning you? You're this movie is it, it, there is not a very clear line from the second one to this one. Like there is a time jump. I'll at least tell you that. That's I mean that's in the first yeah, minute that's, of the that's, movie. That's reasonable. That that's reasonable. Um, yeah. and it, it focuses on a lot of other folks in the town before you know you really kind of get into it. So there's a Man, I mean, there's it's not about Michael Myers himself. It's his impact. Yeah, and so there's that. If what Nate, if what Nate just said intrigues you, then you <laughs> might actually be one of the people enjoying. Because there are people that like this movie. There are people that like what they tried to do and like that they. Although, uh, what I I remember, I posted something on our good friend Kev Castle's um, uh, Twitter about it because uh, he mentioned something about you know this is terrible. I'm like, look, if they're going to give us more season, the witch, then I'm all in for more Halloweens. But otherwise, this should be yeah, fine. yeah. And someone's like, well, this one Halloween. Had this one had season an anthology. Of the, well, this one had season of the witch vibes, to which I say no. It had seasonal no. witch vibes in that they were trying to do something that wasn't so Michael centric. But no, this is absolutely nothing like Season of the Witch. Um, no, Season of the Witch is incredible. Yeah, yeah. Season of the Witch, which got really bizarre in a really cool, fun way. This movie did not do that. This movie did not do that at all. No, not a lot of fun. <laughs> no. If you want a fun movie, and this- God, if you want a fun, is this is this? Did did Bloody Disgusting give us money without us even knowing it? Because I'm saying, if you want to have more fun in a movie, I would go see Terrifier 2, personally. I I mean, Terrifier 2 is so much infinitely a better film than this one. It's not even, it's not even close. <laughs> in, I don't know if so much infinitely makes <laughs> a lot of sense math-wise. But uh, I agree. But I look, I'm hey, practically agree it still you. has more logic than anything that happens in this film. Um, it's It's just bad. I don't, I don't. Without getting too into spoilers, uh, that's all I can say. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go see this in theaters, um, frankly, because there are better horror films that, if you know, given your time and your money, I would give it to those. I'd give it to some of the smaller ones. I'd go see, I'd go see Pearl and X, and um, I'd go see uh, Terrifier Two at any of those because I just, I don't feel like this should be rewarded <laughs> for being a shit food film so that they, they make worse. Like I, I absolutely agree. I'm very concerned about what's going to happen with um, the exorcist, which it shouldn't be remaking anyway, but God knows we can't not just, we can't leave well enough alone. We've got to redo everything. Hellraiser was a pleasant surprise. So I could be surprised. I could be totally wrong, but nothing about this, this trilogy makes me um, your best bet. This Halloween season is just to go watch that first, the first new Halloween and leave there. Just um, just pretend Michael got, you know, eat up and ate up in the fire and, and be done with it. Uh, yeah, that's how it should have ended with season of the witch, right? Halloween two, hospital explosion, fire over. Right. Next Halloween season, of the witch to try something different. Didn't work well at the time. Now I believe it is much more respected, and no. that's what they should have done to this first one. And, but and, they didn't learn the yeah, lesson. And I'll, and I'll say, I'll, I will say this: just I mean, again, we're in the spoiler-free section. I will say this: I mean, I think everyone in the movie did a good enough job for what they were trying to do. I think, like Corey's character, any if in any uh, if you had named this any other movie, and it was just no none of like michael myers if you just had like those same characters and the overall story just removed the michael myers and laurie strode part of it i think it would have made an interesting film and i think the uh the guy who who played Corey, so he's the new edition did really well i think um i liked uh laurie strode's granddaughter um jamie lee curtis not not that she did do well i she she I don't know. Uh, I was, she's maybe like the only one I would say that I, mean, I don't want to say phoning it in, but like the character. So Lori showed us so bizarre in this movie. That she's, she's, she's typing it in, in this one. She, oh, she's very much typing, <laughs> in, typing it in. Um, You're welcome. <laughs> there you go. Look, I think that's all I can say. I mean, is there anything else you want to talk about before we go into the sports? Uh, 
spoilers. I would say I would say it this way: if you there's there's been two movies in the in the series so far. If you liked Halloween Kills more than you liked Halloween, the first one, you 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 will like this probably more than we did. I, I think, but I don't so, know. It depends. Well, on, I mean, it, it depends more. on what you like. It depends on what you liked. If you yeah. liked. If you liked more of the the social commentary and, and sort of the the more about the town and and Haddonfield and and the residents and that part of it, then yeah, I agree with you. You may actually really dig it. You may you something about what they're trying to do here may resonate more with you than it did for me. Um, but if you're if you are saying you liked Halloween Kills because of just the unrelenting brutality of those kills, we talked about that in the review there. How just I mean those kills are just vicious. I don't think you're going to like that because there's not as much of that in there. This is not, not as not as vicious as Terrifier Two. Certainly, um, <laughs> Jesus, just go see Terrifier Two. I think that's the moral of the story. Um, yeah, yeah. I, 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 it, it just depends what I think. What you liked about that, whether whether it's going to play well or not for you. Um, but and I don't know. Maybe going in with that expectation will will make it better. Um, because what I expected from this movie, I think what everyone expected from this movie based on the other two was not there. Look, Agreed. I mean, I, I don't care where you go. I don't care if you decide to go see this or not, but if you don't want to get spoiled, get out of here, witch. This movie fucking sucked, Nate. Uh, <laughs> now that we're, now that we've just thrown all the uh, spoilers, spoilers, this movie spoilers. fucking sucked. It is, it is. <laughs> <laughs> quite i mean i don't know nate it may be fucking worse than hansel and gretel i've i don't know oh, that I've ever, god we may have found happening. it we may have fucking found it this, this is, is the happening. dumbest fucking movie we sat through that shit storm of a movie what a year ago where the whole town somehow rallied around and like beat the, no, the whole town had a riot for a dude existing nowhere near where they were <laughs> Yeah. It was incredible. Well, not even that. They have this final penultimate scene where the whole town is just like it ends night and they're beating the shit out of him and they're just stabbing him and all that. And then he just gets up and just murders them all and get, walks away anyway because he's a badass, right? Like, and, and that was no, because he's a manifestation of the problems of what? the town. Yeah, they're but not what the their lesson? Jesus Christ. Either way, in this movie, when you finally do fucking see Michael Myers, he's like this weak old ass man that likes getting his ass kicked by a teenager and lives in a sewer. Um Okay. Ninja Turtles remake. I like it. No, Go it's ahead. stupid. What why in the fucking hell is Michael Myers now all of a sudden like so just worn down and beat I mean what was prison really keeping him that like like he just had a whole lot of time in the yard, and so he's just still kicking it. I, I don't understand why we went from a Michael Myers that was just straight up just murdering folk, like unstoppable machine, in two films, and then this one, after some weird passage of time, he's we finally like, do find like it. He's like three or four weak. years, four years, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's so bad, and well, in theory, he's like. You know, an octog octog octogenarian. Jeez, can't even say words. Uh, he's old, but this so movie. That. That, but the pat the the time between the last movie. And this one's like a year. Like it's not like it was like a ten. No, year No, it's period. like it's like three. It's like three or four years. It was a year at the beginning, and then it was a couple years after that. Well, it was a year before. Yeah, it was. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. It real fucking dumb. That's that's that's. I mean, it makes very little difference to the overall movie, but yes. Yeah. 40 years in prison. He's, he's still killing it, but like three, it was that, it was somewhere in that three years, man. It's when you, know? you retire. It's when you retire. That's the, that's the, you got to keep moving. <laughs> you had that whole and, motivation the whole time. And then and like, you know, stupid, slunk away. What, what yeah. a stupid fucking thing that we never even, he, he kills Lord, Lori Schroeder's daughter. And then he just yeah. looks in the mirror and I guess sees his fucking reflections. Like, I need to think. I need to work on myself for a bit. Yeah, I need and then to, disappears. I need to go and work on me. He's just yeah. gonna. He's gonna not kill, but he's gonna kind of kill. Like he's still gonna drag some people into his sewer home and murder them. I guess he, he's. Do, but he's he's doing it for a job. He's not. He's not fun anymore. There's no. Know? There's no passion. In it. Right. Well. Yeah. yeah know, there's if, no if passion he, there. It may maybe that would have maybe been if you maybe bring a friend. If you do something together, then it's more this exciting. whole movie should have just been watching Michael Myers living in the in the fucking sewer just evaluating his whole fucking life 
Um, and then deciding now he's just gonna, awesome. And then he's like, he's going to try to that. make amends to Lori and Lori just fucking murders him. I think that would have been a much better film I, in general. I'm in on that. I'm, yeah, I, I could be in no, on that. That's not what we got. Michael Myers in a movie build about the big fight between Michael Myers and Lori Schrode in the end of this thing is not present for almost like half of this film. Uh, instead, we we get uh, I don't you can't remember shithead's name. What what is this character's name? He sucks. It doesn't no, matter. No, no, no. I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you languish. No, I don't care. He sucks. I'm gonna just call him shithead until a better name pops up into my mind. No, you, I said this guy's name like a minute ago, a couple minutes ago. Now let's talk about a good thing. Well, let's talk about the good thing. Let's. <laughs> why don't skip, we? You just skipped right over that. Of course I will. Uh, <laughs> this is my show, and I can do. The guy's name's what Corey. Corey. God, it just makes me angry just <laughs> hearing it. Um, what do the I? Guy's Canadian. Does that help? No, it no. Why? Why? And I don't know. World? I didn't. I didn't mention that. I was the figure throw. He's from Canada. Again, here's what I said. Okay. I, 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 what I said earlier. Corey, look. The intro to this movie is. I mean. Talk about talk about starting a roller coaster at the top, at the peak. Yes, no, this is true. The, the, down to the, the to first hell, ten you know. minutes of the movie in the in a great opening setup is is very solid, and that's the best yeah. part of the movie. It's great. Look, we're in spoilers. Kid dies horrifically from a three story fall from one of the most unsafe, architecturally built houses I've ever seen. So, there's that. Um... And uh, and and why did that kid die? Because uh, I tried to do stuff in the attic. So it's it's a morality tale for us all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, accurate. No, you can't. There's no. There's no denying it. You, oh, you try to play a joke in the attic, you end up dead. That's it. No, that's what I took from this. Well, this so kid. This kid. I might, suck, this kid I might this too, So that's fine. Well, the kid did. Suck. The kids taking knives, moving knives around. Ooh, that's so. So yeah, watching, watching, I mean, the story about Corey, who, <laughs> beca- who, who like the Corey story, the Corey like story, that? you know, the watching this whole f- part of this film that really spent a whole lot of time on is of him basically turning into a serial killer because uh, everyone's being terrible to him. Everyone, for something well, that was because, not really his fault. He, it was an accident. You know, we and we don't. He got lured in the attic. Society. He wasn't going to the attic. He wasn't going in the attic on his own. Yeah. If he was in the attic yeah, all the fucking, time, just messing kid, around. Okay. This fucking kid was. It. Yeah. This fucking kid lured him in there. Um. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a compelling and interesting story. If you didn't have anything to do with fucking Michael Myers or anything, like seeing this kid like become a serial killer and started to get driven to that and 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 all that i mean it's a, it would be a, a very dark kind of bleak film for sure but mm-hmm. i don't i don't hate that i hate what i hate about it is that they wedged it into a goddamn michael myers movie yeah that that's the thing that was the like, issue with me with the second one too is just like you know this movie could work if i just cared about anybody <laughs> i don't it's not like Oh man, I'm yeah. Like Allison had so much trauma from the last ones. I'm not thinking that when I watch this movie, no, because uh, it just doesn't matter to me. If if it mattered more to me about, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis and the cop and the older cop guy, you know, getting together like and really rooting for them. Well, and it's hard. Yeah, to- it, could, it could be a better. It could be a better movie with those pieces, but I just it doesn't matter to me. Well, and it's even, all. it's even hard to even do the whole trauma thing when you first are showing the Strodes and fucking Lori Strode went from being gun nut, locked down hermit to fucking playing grandma and burning pumpkin pies. I, I just like they clearly don't have like she changed to be what her grand granddaughter needed and and she was living in fear anymore. Maybe that's I, I understand that. I understand what they were trying to do with that, but it just, I mean, it was just such such a fucking jarring, like, look, 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 who needs a gun? Who needs a gun when you have a memoir? Okay. That's what I took away from this. Oh my God. (laughs) True story. (laughs) I. (laughs) True story. 
a mur- <laughs> murder. Right? Is a, a book called Murder She Wrote because I just it oh really no, Murder She Strode. Oh, oh yes. Oh God. So we anyway, did um, we did it. The movie made that happen. That's the best part of the movie. <laughs> and, the, and and the child in the beginning. And the, the intro was incredible. Um, the intro was incredible. I just I, you know I, wasn't the tension wasn't the tension in the intro more than anything else in the entire rest of the film. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't even close, I don't think. There was no real tension in the movie, which is very strange for a movie of this type. I mean, the kills are not non-existent. There's only one good kill. The thing about the the point of the movie is not about the kills. It's about um, Corey, you know, unfairly maligned by society, a.k.a. the town, uh, you know, being driven to the darkness that people think is already inside of him because of the way he's treated. Sure. The problem is you're also in a Halloween movie. <laughs> so, so in theory, uh, you know, you would have some sort of, you know, at least tension ish parts to him becoming the serial killer. Right. But yeah. there's not even that it's all very quick. It's all very, very quick with minimal lead up. All, um, to, the, to the very, you know, if you care about these characters, these should be very like important events, right? Like all, all, oh, it, all it took was him they're locking not. locking eyes with Michael Myers in a sewer to to really unleash uh, his inner darkness or some bullshit. It was that stupid. was it. That was it. Yeah, that was it. Stupid. I mean, he he kills a guy on accident. It takes about three seconds. Like, right? That should be very yeah. important. Yeah, kills a guy. Uh, ends up killing a cop guy who was hitting on his girlfriend. But that was really fast too. Very fast. That was a little more. That was probably the most tensiony part where he was hiding and kind of laughing and running underneath that road. Um, that was okay ish. That was probably the closest thing to tension that existed. Other ones were just so fast. Killed the doctor and the uh, and the nurse that worked at the hospital. It was. It was nothing. Was really that interesting. Other than necessarily, I guess the teamwork. So it was. It was teamwork. It was Corey. Corey and Mike. Sounds like teamwork a 80s, makes some, the teamwork makes the dream work, Nate. Sounds uh, like sounds like a movie like Corey Feldman and somebody were I in know, the eighties. Right? Like a, it's like a teen buddy movie or something. Oh, Corey and Mike, what kind of shenanigans are these guys into? Oh, oh, lifting people off the ground to kill them and stab them and keep them there, just like in previous movies. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I just <laughs> I, I I feel a little rough for for this dude because like. I don't think it's his fault. He he was a he, he was a very good actor. Like you bought into his whole transformation and, and why he was sort of turning that way. Oh, oh, even, oh no! Even oh, if was, even if it was yeah. a little even if it was a little bit like cliche and and mod, like oh 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 a little cliche. This guy could have been one of the teenage villains in the OC. Okay, yeah. it was it was very yeah. I it mean, was very cliche. Every like we're gonna check every box of yeah this. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy was trying to break Ryan and Marissa up the whole school year. That's that's the level of of, of angsty moodiness you were getting from this guy. Yeah, it's a, a deep OC reference, but there you go. I was about to say, uh, yeah, that one. There's someone over there is like <laughs> high five in the the, the same the same, pe- the same people who were like, yeah, like yeah, uh, who cares about wrestling? That, those are those people who were uh, all in on that one. Yeah. Thing. Um, I, oh my God, I, it just, it's, it's so bad. I, and I, and like I said, I, I just think it's a disservice to him. He did. a. I think he did a great job with what he was given. Um, you know, you really do feel for this character and to the point, I think they shortchanged his sort of, I think it did go quick and they kind of shortchanged his really getting in, like turning full serial killer because they're they're basically trying to get to Michael Myers eventually kind of being in this picture and kind of taking over. Um, he just kind of unceremoniously dies because he starts trying to go after Lori Strode and she's just like, no, nah, no, nah, bitch, I'll, I'll just kill you. And what she does. And then Michael Myers shows up and yeah. is like, Oh, I'll take it from here. Well, she doesn't kill him. He kills himself. That's right. That's right. He does. Well, no, he, sorry. <laughs> it's actually three levels. She was probably going to kill him. He stabbed himself to kill himself to frame her in his granddaughter's eyes because the granddaughter is all about this dude now. And like the grandma who's like been all crazy, but saved her, but also crazy 
doesn't like her anymore. He tries to stab himself, but then in the end ends up getting killed by Michael Myers ostensibly for being weak and breaking up the partnership that they had. So it was only like three levels on that one. Yeah. Um, I mean, which is interesting. I, I will say for the praise I heaped on him, that is the weird character thing where it was like the weird, like if I can't have her, no one can like, what? Uh, like that was, that was OC level. That's what I'm saying. That was the OC level stuff there. That was well, ridiculous. I've never watched the OC. It just sounds terrible. That's fine. One Tree Hill. Um, Throw One Tree Hill. All there. right. Sounds, sounds terrible. Um, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> It, it's just so bad, and then we finally do get the the the, the battle, and I mean it's what like fifteen ish minutes. And that's it really was it. not great, and it I don't know. Great. Here, I, look, I if truthfully, I mean, what am I supposed to say here? What what would I have wanted this movie to to be in real life? Do I want it to be another movie where she's just walking around the town just murdering people? Probably not. We've done that. I get that we need to do something a little different. But I don't know, man. Keep. There's got to be something, something different. You know, Mike's got to go to another town or something else. Right. I I, I, I don't is know. Is this is this whole thing a metaphor for like. People. Like people think they've been wrong and they go on the Internet and then they find like like minded people like them and then they get into more extreme things because of that like is that what this movie literally is a metaphor for <sighs> am i thinking too deep am i thinking too deeply about this you're probably thinking about deeper than anyone else involved in this movie did <laughs> I, I mean because I, I, i'm trying to think like okay what I, to would the some movie degree, have been like to if some he degree, killed yeah. michael myers and became michael myers yeah. versus them working together because that was kind of the pivot point of the movie right yeah. michael myers is gonna kill this dude that you don't walk into that sewer like when you hear noises like that was a bad move yeah like them teaming up in a buddy buddy is like why is he not killing him oh because um he saw all the the horrors they're like oh yeah because no one in the last 40 years has had a shit <laughs> that you didn't relate to like this is the first person you're like oh this is the new protege i found him right what, what just fucking stupid um <laughs> Everything about Michael Myers in this movie is fucking stupid. I think that's the pr- and that's and that quintessentially like, look, I love season of the witch. You, I, I, I would have loved if they had actually kept this stuck to their guns and just said, you don't know what you're talking about. Season of the witch was great. We're going to keep doing anthologies. We're not bringing back Michael, but they didn't. Well, Michael dies in this one. So there is a, ch- there's a chance, but it seems unlikely. Um, and what a what a lame ass death. I mean, it just oh god. I just it hate, was lame. It I was hated lame. All of this. It was well, think of it, think of it this way. Think of it this way. The first movie, the setup was incredibly good. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then in the third movie, it's the same fight again, but this is just much, much, much worse. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that was a commentary on like I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking too. I'm looking too far into this. I don't know. No. I think I should probably. I mean, stop. look. I'm I, looking for the hidden meanings, but I just don't know if they're there look, or it was just worse. Well, That's and and I thing. I can certainly appreciate. We don't want to have an ending where it's just Lori Stroh just going full fucking Ripley and just decides like I'm just going to like set traps and it's Home Alone like the first one was. That was great for what the first one was that she'd been yeah she'd been preparing. True. I, yeah. I, I, I'm happy that Laurie Strode is moving on. I think I maybe maybe this movie really needed to be less about less about Corey becoming a circle, more about Laurie Strode and and the granddaughter like trying to pick up those pieces. And they they should flash of this of like overcoming that trauma to try to to find closure. And so when the when she finally has that fight, it's different than her just like. Just straight up, just trying to murder him. Like, well, she called the cops to report a suicide. Yeah, she's ready to kill herself. So that was something. Just kidding. Fake out. She knew he was there. <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah. Which I mean, and this Incredi- is that was actually kind of incredible for how ridiculous it was. Why? Did, but also kind of awesome. Nate, I appreciate the the ballsy. Why do you think she did that? Because. <laughs> Here's 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 my here's my here's my question. Um, she okay. She's gonna call the police. Oh, she's not intending to kill herself, 
But how many times has she like done something and like tried to set a trap and then Michael just murders all the innocent people anyway? She's being accosted by everyone. Every time. She's every being, time. She's that's being how it accosted is. by everyone about, hey, if you hadn't if you just hadn't like played fucking stupid games and all that, we'd all be mm. yeah, alive. Been- um, super prizes yeah. and and right yeah yeah play stupid games win super prizes and yet here she is like oh let me just bring some more like emts in here like i would, look if no one responded to that call i, I would not be shocked um, oh that house yeah oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> right right I, yeah. I don't know i think it would have been better had had we focused more on low i mean i i don't it's just a weird fucking movie it, I think they they I think the time change didn't do him any like the time shift didn't do him any favors. Um this whole Lori Strode trying to just be cool grandmother while people are being kind of real shitty. Um, well she had to shift because both the parents got murdered basically because of her. <laughs> well, it's because of Michael Myers, but he, well, yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah. I, I mean, mean, imagine well, you know, teens. You know, teens will act out, right? Teens will act out and do stuff. I don't know that my kids are merc- or Both of our kids are mercifully much younger than that yet. But I feel like if you were like somewhat tangentially involved in both of the parents dying, like the acting out would be pretty epic level. Um, when things got tough, uh, so I I get it from that perspective potentially. I'm trying to like this. I'm tr- I'm I'm trying. I'm trying to go. I'm Why trying to fucking help this sucks, movie. Nate. It's a bad I'm movie. Trying. I don't there's know. There's no need to know. there's no need to try. There's then no one else tried in this movie. No one else tried to do anything to <laughs> They did. They tried they no. tried. It just no. it did they not They tried to be link they tried to be they tried to be fucking pretentious. They tried to to elevate Hall- Halloween. Well, usually, ends. usually I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Okay. No, okay. no, Nate. Here's why you shouldn't be okay with that because they they <laughs> one they fucking failed. Two, they tried this with the second one and everyone said, "Hey, no, we like all the kills but maybe not all the other bullshit uh halloween ends tonight nonsense and yeah we get it uh just stick to michael myers murdering folk and this one you didn't even give us that yeah you gave us Corey for an hour and a, yeah, an hour Corey. i just it, baffling I, that's that's all i can really come to even think about it it's just <laughs> baffling writing decisions that, that just don't make any sense yeah. And again, this movie would have been interesting. If just don't have Michael Myers in it. Let it be Halloween season of the quarry. Um, and we'll just cool. But you're giving, you're, you're, you're telling me there's going to be the final battle, the final, this, and there's just nothing there. I agree. I, I, yeah, I agree. It's, it's it's tough. I I want to yeah. I want to like, like I, I want to like all the things happening, but and they it, it has to it has to tie together with the characters. You, yeah. you really got to care about the characters more, which is which is fine. Though I mean, like you talk about pretentious. I mean, look, the, I I like a, plenty of movies in that sphere. So not not really a negative for me, but it's it it's got to be you know good, and it has to also be like you know. It, it, it's it's story based is what you're going for you're not going for you're not going for the terrifier no realm right you're going for we built we built up characters for two straight movies right and had a lot of things happen to them so the 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 success of the movie is really about how much do you care about the these characters and what happens to them because we we make some some interesting things happen to them which you would not have expected going in uh, but but then you know I knew that Corey was the murderer. I don't know minute here's, minute, minute fifteen. You minute know what? 20. Here's but but yeah. it just doesn't it doesn't hit because you just don't care yeah. about them enough where some of these things happen. It's, it it doesn't it, the, the impact is just not there at all. Which is which is kind of crazy because they had three movies that came out. Now there was the there was the the pandemic. Obviously, you know Halloween Kills got pushed back. I think it was supposed to be three movies in three years, which I think might have been a little bit better, to be honest. But if you get kills and ends back to back years, in theory, it should it should hit a little bit harder <laughs> than than it did. Well, because it, it should mean that you've actually planned the story out. I mean, it, that, that you yeah, know. yeah, it, it is. It did not happen, unfortunately. Now, yeah. the main question for me, Mitch, for you is which is better, 
How number two, Halloween kills. Number three, Halloween ends. That's number two. That's Halloween, really Halloween the kills. Oh right. my god. Oh my god. That was so fast. Oh no. Uh, oh I mean, that's, no. That's not, that, I didn't have to think about that. That's, uh, that's wow. That is. Oh man. You know what this movie should have been. You know what this movie should have been. <laughs> What they really should <laughs> have done. What that kind of threw me. I'm not going to lie. That threw me a bit. Well, what you I think was going to expect it. No, this movie. I expected like to be that fast. No. I, let me just remind you, you rated Halloween kills a one out of 10. Just throwing that out. Oh, there. You, you, you won't be shocked when you hear what this one's going to be. <laughs> um, <Jesus>. so, <laughs> they both could just go and be fucking thrown into the goddamn fire together. Wow. Um, okay. Okay. What they should have done. They, you know, they should have done. They should have made this the final battle. And maybe this is what they were trying to go for. And they just failed. Miserably. But the final battle over over Corey's soul effectively. Like we should have been seeing. Like, and we kind of get mm, to some point. We kind of get to at, at the beginning of it. And that's where I kind of maybe thought they were going with. Oh, it was, maybe, maybe Michael Myers kills the dude who's hassling him. By the sewer. And then that's like the first really nice thing that's happened to him, yeah. right? In well, a while. And then Michael Myers is like the scary dude, but like to him, he does not kill him. Maybe he gives him some food and kills the dude who's messing with him. Yeah. Then maybe you have a little bit of a dilemma in his kind of skewed mind perspective because of everything that's happened to him. Well, yeah. Let me, that would be, that would have been more interesting. Oh, that, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Yeah. I mean, because, it's not really the first nice thing, right? I mean, Lori Strode is nice to him when she's he's getting bullied, right? And he she's trying to tell him, look, there you don't have to let it consume you and all this kind of stuff. And then yeah, he should be seeing Michael Myers just come out and just like murder murder folks that are tormenting him, and he's kind of in that mind. And so the final fight really should be about if you're if the whole movie is about how evil infects you and it and trauma yeah. infection all that kind of stuff right and that evil if you allow evil to sort of persist it spreads it affects it it can infect you it can turn you even if you are a good person right um just looking in the face of it that final battle should have been what happens does he like he went straight to michael Myers' side like immediately <laughs> that's <laughs> true minute. it was it was quite fast this, Had, this was this was already girlfriend level but they had had a fight. Yeah. So like so that it was in that think, time period. So that yeah. is true. And I think having Michael Myers, if you'd done that and you had Michael Myers coming out throughout the film, killing people and, and sort of them both. And he's really, you see him struggling. Like, you know, Michael Myers isn't killing him because he's trying to turn him into a protege or whatever the fuck. Um, like he sees that power and is attracted to it, but he, you know, Lori's over here and Lori's granddaughter's like, no, 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 don't, you know, don't give in to it kind of thing. And let that be the final struggle. Because that's really what, that's what really kind of takes it to another level, right? That's a real, and, and like so said, he should have walked in, he should have walked in while they were fighting and then had a choice to make. Yes. Okay. I like, I like that a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. it's easy to say, because look, I had such low expectations for this fucking movie. I gave the last one a one, Nate. And uh, <laughs> I mean, just, they couldn't dipped under that bar. Somehow, this movie, some could, this movie could not have lowered, have, have not have disappointed me. Look, look, my look, father, look, look, Nate, Nate, my father, my father like ran off on me when I was younger. And <laughs> oh this God, movie is a word more disappointment than my dad ever. Is. Oh, my so God. So that's how bad. <laughs> look, look, I just, I was just, <laughs> just, just going to give a shout out. Hey, hey, Gary, Becky is looking great. <laughs> Can I just say, Becky is sounding incredible. Where's Kevin James at? Okay, add Kevin James to this movie. What do you think, Mitch? Um, I mean, why not? <laughs> Look, you know, dress dress up a turd however you like. It's still a fucking turd, May. I there's there's oh nothing. I don't know. That just this yeah. There's nothing. It's he should have killed I, the kid. He should have killed another kid. Uh, another like trick or treater halfway through the film. Uh, that would have at least given us something. I don't know. This, it was. Wow, this wow, okay. This is incredible stuff. Um I'm very pleased of how this is going. So yeah. I, I... <laughs> <Final cut. laughs> all right. Well, 
This better be the goddamn <laughs> final cut for Michael. I don't ever want to see another fucking Halloween movie. I don't want any. I, I don't. I don't give a shit who it is. I don't. If Ari what I, a difference! What a difference a few years makes, Mitch. Because the first Halloween movie, we were like, okay, we are, we are optimistic. This is that first Halloween movie good. was incredible, and that's that's where I'm going to end it. I, that's just where it ends, and I'm just going to call that the send off, and I'm going to pretend nothing that happened past that even exists. Um, I mean, I don't give. You could tell me Ari Aster is going to pick up this franchise, and I would fucking just avoid it like the play. No, I, Ari Aster is never going to touch this. No, nor should nor should anyone. I I don't want to watch any of. I don't want to watch any of this guy's movies ever again. Exorcist um, coming out next year. Not going to watch it, y'all. I will. I will wait to hear how things are going. I mean, I look. I say that like I don't have a fucking horror movie podcast. We'll be watching it. Do it. I, I'm not looking forward are to we? it. Are well, we? Well, you know, I'm not looking forward to it either. I'm not at, so. at all in any sort of way looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a shit show. I, I, I mean, it's 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 the perfect horror movie. What what could you possibly do with The Exorcist that every other demonic possession movie hasn't already tried to do different? Uh, you 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 add Aunt Lydia to the mix. I that. I don't even know what to say to that, Nate. Uh, Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> this movie, I, I, I want. I mean, can I give it a zero? Uh, can I just give it a subterranean goddamn I, score? I, I don't, don't even know if zero is low enough. Is Nate. that allowed? Is that allowed? Zero, zero might not be low know. enough. I, I think there was one movie I gave a point. I gave a point. No, we have. We actually have zeros. I take that back. We've done a zero. For you, actually, there's been one movie that got that got basically universal zeros. I gave it a universal zero point six six six, and that was the suckling. So you're saying that Halloween ends is suckling level. Go back, listen to the suckling. That's an incredible one. You're saying this is suckling level zero. It's been so long since we reviewed the suckling. Uh, it's it's looking a little rosy. It's looking a little rosy by comparison. No, no, no. That movie was this the drizzling shits. Um, this, uh, I don't know. Well, it, can, it's, uh, a, it's, it's a, it's a sliding scale because obviously, you know, like, you know, what movie is better Zombievers or, you know, a lot of the other movies that we've given okay reviews to, I think those other movies are probably ostensibly better movies, but your enjoyment of the film is also a part of it, right? Sure. That's also that's a part of Look, what we're doing here. These these are not scientific by any stretch. I would retroactively give Halloween Kills a two, and I would give this a one. Okay, so this is going one. Okay, I, I, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up I'm gonna go up a bit on this. I'm gonna go a three. Ooh. <laughs> uh, it was not good. Not mad. Um, I'm just disappointed. Oh, it's a one out of what? Sorry. So I'm going to, I'm going to give it three good songs in the soundtrack. <laughs> what are you going to give what? <laughs> one? One, wa- one, one wasted hour of watching Corey do bullshit. Corey. Like murdered. Fucking stupid. I just Corey angry. Corey so great. Oh, yeah. So like, and- I was looking at Corey and it, like, it was like he, it wasn't even him anymore. Pro tip what though. Bunch, what, every trope that's ever existed. <laughs> It was so terrible. Yeah. Pro tip on though, I will oh. say I will say this now. Here's a pro tip for you. Yeah. If you split this movie, so like look, sometimes, especially if you're streaming it, sometimes you know you can't watch it all in one sitting. If you just watch the first half on its own, no, and watch then the watch first this, 20 minutes. And then watch the second half on its own. It'll feel like two separate movies and will actually trick you into thinking it is a much better film. Because if you just started off an hour into it, you're like, oh, cool, here's Michael. And you just you get going. If you do the first half, you're like, oh, cool, this is a movie that has nothing to do with Michael Myers. This is fine. Uh, infinitely better uh, experiences. Corey. I love it. I don't know if the second half by itself is good. I don't, I don't know if I agree with that. Oh, oh, Nate, none of it's good. But um, I, and I got I got to throw out I got to throw out just really fast um, two two things that we did not reference. Um, just really fast. Uh, well, uh, well, mainly one thing. Nate, one this is the opposite of fast. <laughs> my, one, uh, the person uh, who was the who was the receptionist uh, in the uh, DJ. Uh, in the DJ radio station, the receptionist. Yeah did you, did you catch that? No. It was Darcy. 
the male girl from Last Drive-In. Oh, nice. I don't know if you noticed that one. Did not, not because I just did not get it. Okay. A has your, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, has your score changed? But you just said it like that. So that that's a hard no. Okay. Oh, moving on. Next, she she is in, she's in, she's in Scare Package 2. Probably a better film than this one. So sure. Coming out, coming out this year. So does that help you? Not with this, and, not in the context of this film, no. And Friday the 13th, Vengeance 2 Bloodlines. Which that that's a lot of words around Friday the 13th. Nate, why are you keeping me talking about why are you keeping me around talking about this movie for these? What about uh, what if do I nothing, told you? Do what nothing. If I, good what if I told you? These are you. like they're not even Easter eggs. These are just fucking I like forgot. I forgot eggs. to talk about this in the first section because I wanted to hear your what rant. Do you, mean you forgot what a, because there's nothing to do. What if, what, a, what about her I'm about to role, rant about you right now? If you don't what about I'm her role in 2022's most anticipated horror film, The Bard Part Two? What do you think about that? I think, I, I think I'm just Justin, gonna. I think I'm gonna end directed Zoom literally by Justin Seaman, and well, I, I'm more into that name. What the top <laughs> cast is Doug Bradley, which everyone will know is the original Pinhead, and uh, Diana Prince. Those are the top two. Um, those are the top two build people, and uh, Joe Bob Briggs is in the film as well. Cool. What do you think about the Barn Part Two now? Anything is better than what I just watched. And okay, there you go. Film. See, so, I, again, I'm gonna say you're welcome for the third time. There you go. I don't know why you're taking that as a victory, but you know what? Whatever, Nate. Where can they find us? <laughs> you can find us. I don't. You might not want to find us after this one. I don't. I have no clue. But if you did, you could find us not at the guy, TX not the on Twitter. <laughs> Texas podcast massacre everywhere else. Definitely not in a sewer or an attic for this one. It's you got to stay main floor, team main floor in this one. Um, uh, send us an email, text podcast massacre at gmail.com. Uh, send us a voicemail, 346 246 3143. Look, Gary did both and he got Becky on the list. So you are that that's that's the way someone just taught you the way of how to, how to do this correctly so do that um we next week cross the famous crossover episode with why I hate this album we got spawn mitch are you are you more excited about spawn after watching this film do you remember spawn i remember spawn are you I remember more excited john about leguizamo now? Being John in, this, in the suit, in the suit, in the suit. Yeah. Um, am I excited? No, this this movie is really just taking the air out of Halloween for me. Like the <laughs> the season, not the oh the whole season. Yeah, the whole season just, is just done. Huh? Sure. I mean, I I I need some time. I'm gonna need some time to recoup from what I just watched. Um, sure. I'm always excited to do our crossover episode with our, our, uh, frenemies over at <laughs> why I hate this album. Uh, the they album spawn. that's on them. They, so. th this is their pick. You know, they always complain that we force them into movies. Um, this, this one's uh, they're special. And I mean, I, I think they're going to have a worse time than we are looking at the soundtrack. This is like the, 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 Remix of For Whom the Bell Tolls is the Halloween ends of remixes. <laughs> um, so. that, is, that is a metaphor. <laughs> That's great. So, um, yeah. So the, enjoy that, guys. Uh, yeah. It, this movie is something else. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just going to like just just stare at a wall for a few hours and just try and this, 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 this broke you yeah i don't know what yeah it wasn't even you know you we, we always assumed it would be you know human centipede final sequence or something along those lines i don't even know that the, that I, would do it but now this movie just, just inadvertently is making you like Gretel and Hansel more somehow. That, no, don't, no, don't think no, I didn't no, forget no. that. No, no, no. That, that reference no, did happen in this. Uh, just episode. because I say this is worse doesn't mean I, it elevated the other one. It just <laughs> they're they're both at the bottom. Am uh, in, in I okay? In, well, I am I. Hate, I'm just saying. Hate ben. I'm just saying it's raising up the average for 
Gretel and Hansel. So, all right. Well, this this was this was a shocking episode for me. This is this is something. So yeah, that's. Can we? Uh, I mean, let's just we let's just do more voice like voicemails on other people. Not talk about <laughs> shit movies anymore. Let's, we just, let's just make the show that. Uh, from all of us here at Texas Podcast Massacre, thank you so much for tuning in. And just keep telling yourself, it's only a movie. Good night.